Hello, welcome back to another Bridge Design lecture. In this lecture, I want to talk about how we're going to calculate the uh, uh, impact force. In this case, uh, a, a ship collusion force on a bridge pier or bridge superstructure. Take a look at this problem. Let me put this problem on a board here. Um, okay, we have this bridge right there. And this uh, is a ship, it's an occlusion course with the bridge pair and uh, these information, the velocity of the uh, uh, channel is 22 feet per second and the velocity of the uh, uh, ship is about half of that, 11 feet per second based on usually uh, either Coast Guard or, or whoever owns the waterway they set the velocity and normally it's about half of the channel velocity or less. So let's say the uh, ship velocity here is 11 feet per second. And also the pier is not protected against any vessel collusion. It's just a square pier. Uh, as you can see from the drawing, uh, the water, the median, the mean high water is about 20 feet above the bottom of the channel. And, uh, and a pier cap is about four feet below the uh, bottom of the channel, which is on uh, uh, piles. And we, from there, the, uh, from the water, mean water, all the way to the uh, bottom of the girder is about uh, 27 feet. And say the superstructure is about six feet uh, tall. When we look at the ship itself, uh, the ship, the bow is about 15 feet. And the deck house is about 10 feet. And the mast is about uh, 20 feet. And if you look at the sideway of the pier, the pier is only six feet wide. So to, in order to us to calculate these, the, one of the first thing we're going to do is uh, one of the first thing we're going to do is uh, calculate the stream pressure. And how we're going to do that, we're going to use the uh, Ashto 3.71 as we done before. Let me put that, bring that on a board too. Ashto 3.71. There it is. And if we use the Ashto 3.71, we have um, the equation is given P is equal. Um, CDV square and divided by 1,000. In this case, our coefficient of the uh, drag coefficient is 1.4, as you can see from the board, and that is uh, for a square ended pier. So let's go ahead and calculate this. This is 1.4 times 22 feet per second squared, and divide that by 1,000. We're going to have. Um, what do I have calculated here is uh, 0 0.678 uh, kip per square foot. Okay, now look at the picture again. The pier is about um, uh, below the water is, let me get the picture, below the water is about 20 feet all the way to the top of the uh, bottom of the channel. So and, and it's, uh, so the area that we have kept per square foot is 20 feet by 6 feet. So let's multiply this by the area, 0 0.678 times 20 and times 6 feet. And that comes out to uh, uh, 81 kips. OK. So this was a first step. We calculated the uh, stream pressure and that's the water pressure. Now let's go uh, calculate the uh, uh, collusion uh, from the uh, uh, ship. And one of the things you got to pay attention is uh, we can go ahead and uh, uh, in this step we're going to look at the uh, uh, Ashto 3.1, uh, 3.14. And this is really a lot of good reading here. Let me put some of these on the board here. 3.14 There it is. Um, 3.14 vessel occlusion, and there's a lot of good reading right there, and it's pretty long, and you can go through all of them. And but what we like to do, we like to proceed to section 3.14.8 all the way to 3.14.10, uh, and that will concern. And one thing you have to pay attention here: this is a ship collusion force. If you go further down, they have the barge. So make sure you just go to the ship, not to the barge. 
And we look at this step right here. It's a for uh, the formula is given as uh, let me write it down here. P S is equal uh, eight point one five time V times square root of the weight of the ship. And one thing we talked about the uh, the uh, uh, the velocity is eleven, and the weight of the ship is five thousand ton. So if you go ahead and plug that in, become 815 times 11 times square root of 5,000 times. And that will give me a answer of, uh, I have it right here, 6,390, no, 39.2. And that's in kips. Okay. Now, we like to know how we're going to combine these two. We're going to use uh, 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 our load combination. For the load combination, take a look at the table. Uh, if I find it right there, table 3.14.1-1, and we're going to go look at the extreme event 2. In the extreme event 2, so we're going to have 1 time WA, and one time CV. And you can see on, uh, uh, on all the uh, these are basically on a transit load. So we're going to have uh, the extreme event 2, and it's going to be uh, V of the pier. It's going to be uh, one time WA plus one time uh, CV. And that comes out to 81 plus uh, 6339, and that should give me about 6420 kips, and that's our answer. That's how much force that collusion is going to uh, put on the pier. And now here is the question for you. This one of the, it's one of the questions on your test. It's the same problem. This time, um, what is the impact of this ship hitting a superstructure. So when you look at the picture, uh, bring that picture back online here. So you look at the picture and you find out which part of the ship is going to collide with the superstructure. Is it the bow or is it the deck house or is it the mast? And based on that, you go to Ashto from that section, 3.14.8 to 3.14.10, find out which one is applied to your uh, uh, problem. Good luck. See you next time in class.